Hi. Okay, so I'm back with part two for this um, because I realized that when I went over the basic uh, foundation, the reason of what self-defeating talk is and what it does to our spiritual practices, I didn't exactly fill in with what you should be saying to yourself instead or how you should be phrasing things to other people. Um, it's very important to realize how much power our words have, as I said before, and it's very important to take time to think about them before we form them and before they leave our minds and they leave our mouths. Um, just as you get angry and your first reaction should not be to hit somebody or to physically hurt them, even though you may want to, you may be that angry and you may be... Uh, that passionate about whatever the circumstance is, but it's inappropriate and it only leads to more harm and you will regret have doing that. You will re regret, regret doing that. So I want you to realize that your words have just as much power as a physical reaction would. So when you say your, your words, you need to stop and think about them just as you would stop yourself from hitting somebody uh, over you know a reaction you're having over something that they've done or something that they've done to you so and this goes for you know anything you have to be in control of yourself you have to be in control of your own mind and your own thoughts because if, if you're not in control of them then I don't know who is and that leaves you open and vulnerable spiritually to a lot of things that you don't want in your life and that you don't need. So you have to be in control of what you're manifesting, what you're putting out there. And once you hone these skills of being in control of those things and in control of your emotions and in control of your thoughts, you'll be surprised as to how many more things you're aware of, how many more messages you'll receive from deity or the universe, whatever you choose to call it or choose to believe. Um, you have to be aware of these things and not just acting on your your emotions at the time. If you if you take a step back and calm down and give yourself a moment to be in the present moment and to be aware of what your initial reaction was, which was emotional, which is the ego. That is that that's the ego part of yourself. That's the part that we try to avoid. And take a step back, remove yourself, listen to your spiritual self. And what is the best way to deal with this situation from a spiritual standpoint? So instead of, you know, you've got your sister over here saying you're fat and you've got this girl over here who's a bee and she's trying to steal your man and you've got your boss at work who's riding you all the time and treats everybody else better than you. So there are three things that you can say to yourself before you start saying oh you know she's the bee she's trying to steal my man and you know my sister's calling me fat and you know she shouldn't talk she ought to look at herself and all that so before you even get carried away with all that kind of talk you can say you go to your family or your friends people you can trust your spiritual group you can trust you say I I am deserving of help for this situation that's one Two, I need help for this situation. And three, I believe the universe knows what I need and it is going to provide for me. And then you explain your situation. You explain your situation without calling anybody names, without saying, oh, you know, I wish I could punch that bee in her face. You don't, you don't need all that. All that is, that is literally bringing you down to their level. And that's hard to escape. That's too hard to escape. You're putting another burden on top of yourself. So not only is old girl over here talking about you, now you're talking about yourself basically. That's, that's, what, you've, that's what you've done. You've brought yourself down so low by talking about them, now you're on the same vibrational frequency as they are. So you, whatever they're doing to you, now you're doing the same thing. So it's important 
to be very careful with our words and choose them wisely. Step back, take that breath, take a moment. You know, I, if it's got to be, you know, serenity now or whatever other little prayer or phrase you've got to do to calm yourself down, I want you to think about the words you say when you're explaining a story about something that's happening to you, when you're talking to yourself, um, you know, when you're it, when even if you're writing, uh, you, you're writing something online, anything, take a step back and just give yourself some time to properly express yourself. Express yourself as a spiritual being. Don't express your ego. Your ego is not helping you out, okay? So express yourself as the spiritual being you are. Let the universe know, you know, where you're at and what's happening to you and what you need. And, you know, it, it may not answer you immediately, but it will provide for you. You just have to bring yourself up to that, to that level. You have to you have to rise above all that and you will you will be greeted and you will be met with what you need to get out of this situation and to rise above it thanks for coming by guys thanks for watching share the video be blessed bye